Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. We're taking a look at a third party piece today. This is by Mastermind Creations and this is R44 Torture Demolisher. Here's the box. I've had to sort of zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> I don't know what the, the opposite of zoom in is, um, but we've got to sort of kind of back out um, using the features on the camera just to see the box. Um, so it's, it's pretty big, just to give you an idea. It's a kind of like a, a Voyager figure, Megatron, alongside it. So it gives you an idea of the size of the box and the figure. And we'll be doing some size comparisons throughout the video. And um, so it shows him here in his robot mode. There's a few accessories which we'll come to have a look at later. So here he is in his robot mode, sort of getting ready for battle. On the side here, you don't get much, just a little picture on the side. Uh, same on this side. Um, come around to the back, and this is where all the bits and pieces are here. You get a few different pictures just showing you all the different bits with the arms, the mechanical arms move around, and a few of them kind of running in a few more dynamic poses. Um, same kind of stuff here. And then in his kind of vehicle mode, and then another couple of pictures down at the bottom. And then, it's very hard to show you this, but then a further picture at the top here. And he comes in a plastic clamshell. So you just take him out. There are a couple of things that you need to do uh, transformation wise, just to fully transform into vehicle mode. Once you get him out of there, I'll just show you what accessories he comes with, first of all. So at the pack here, you get, uh, this little piece here, which uh, kind of fits over his face. You get an extra head, which I'll show you, little focus. Yeah, so with this one, the this bit doesn't come off, and there's a slightly bigger head, which we'll show you in a bit. The you get another little bag which was attached to it which i think is a planet steel exclusive so you'll probably only get that if you order through planet steel so I'll just open this up if i can and in it you get if i can a translucent faceplate for silver missiles also with it as well, you get, um, which is kind of part of the regular release. If I can take them out of the figure to the side before I bring him in. I'll bring in the figure anyway so you can see him in his vehicle mode. But you get four uh, translucent purple kind of missiles which slot into there. Obviously, and if you can pull those out, you can swap them for the silver ones if you need to. So you get that, you get this collector's card here, which is very nice. And it's kind of like a credit card type thing here. Uh, I don't know if I can zoom in a bit just to give you a bit of a better view. Ooh, and uh, there you are. Gives you all of his tech specs there. Like that. And then you've got the comic itself as well which is uh, really great. I'm a big fan of these. It's kind of comic book in one half and the other half is the instructions. Uh, so reformatted and they issue 44 and it, the name of it is Top Dog. And as you open up here, um, you get um, the starring role, which is torture and then the supporting cast and the and antagonizers down at the bottom there. And it opens up to action there but uh, it's a very good comic it's well written and yeah and some great artwork there as well so it's really nice uh, and then it's got some information about some future figures coming up through the reformatted line um, which is chrome dome and rewind and it goes through shows you the instructions which are fairly good and you can see these are the regular bits that come with it. So if you haven't ordered through Planet Steel ex 
express you won't get the the extra uh, bits like this and and the silver missiles okay so right so I'm gonna pop that off to one side um, try and get him transformed for you um, let's see if it's easier to back out and show you the transformation that way it might be easier um, for a size comparison I'll just bring in a deluxe figure so yeah he's he's pretty big um, I mean, I mean, you've got this bit here. I mean, you can nearly get a, a deluxe figure in there, to be fair. Um, and it's quite easy to get in a, if I grab a, like a Target Master or, or someone of that ilk, then. So I'll grab one of these guys here. So you can see this guy here, and he, he'll it'll pretty much fit fit right in there this kind of blades and these blades turn around there's three four four of these kind of blades that spin around in there and they all spin around individually there isn't like a mechanism outside of that that spins them around or anything so it is a case of kind of just sticking your hand in there and just moving them around um, he does roll pretty nicely um, he has he's kind of got some kind of little wheels underneath. As part of transformation um, out of the box, you need to kind of move these bits out here and peg them together. And I think you have to straighten up this bit here. Uh, these arm bits move up and down. They rotate around as far as you want them. The arms come forward. It's like, you know, you've got so much articulation in them. These bits swivel around, move forward and back. These all move individually and can move around so you can grab hold of a, a figure and be kind of plunging him in like that. Um, so I think that looks really good and he holds a figure quite nicely. He could probably hold kind of the next class up from that. So probably like, um, what do you call it? Like a scout class kind of figure quite easily. Um, or even even a deluxe, I I reckon he could hold the weight on these. These they seem pretty sturdy, and like I said, you can get them in all sorts of different positions. Uh, this bit here moves up and down. Uh, it is pegged on here, so you can get some more movement from it if you wish. Uh, these are a little bit hard to to pull out. I found that's the only thing because once I swap them out, here we go. So you can get them. In and out and put in the silver ones if you want to and this is the the two different ones side by side or you could even do like a little mix and match if you wanted to so pop that in here there's um, quite a bit of paint on the figure so these arms are all painted silver these bits here are all painted silver nicely you've got kind of a gun metal in here uh, black plastic for these uh, a bit of paint on here, lots of silver and gold. Um, almost, I don't know what you call that. There's a kind of like a bronzy sort of colour and gold in there. So there's quite a few different colours and different types of plastic that are used throughout the figure. Um, despite the size of it, he doesn't actually weigh that much. So, um, but he doesn't feel cheap or hollow or anything. Um, yeah, they've kind of done it well. Like these bits here are obviously kind of hollow, um, but it doesn't really show um, too much. But yeah, he's he's actually lighter than um, the Moors figure that's that that came out previous to him. And this is kind of the last one of the DJD figures. I don't have them all, but I will show which figures I do have um, in robot mode. I can't be bothered to transform them all and get them all in vehicle mode to show you. Um, but I will show you like a size comparison thing when we get them in, get them into robot mode. Uh, transforming them is actually fairly easy to do um, and it's not too complicated. So I'll try and do it like this with the camera kind of backed out so you can see how everything um, sort of is done. So um, 
yeah so you unpack these bits from here and pull them out like that you're then going to swivel this bit round and move that up to here and that will then peg into there so do that on the same side here on the other side sorry move that around twirl it around and pop it into there like that um, if you look underneath you can see the arms are tabbed into here and here and what you want to do is just pull that slightly out towards you like that like that and then you'll be able to move the arms out like that and then if you come around here you can then swivel the arms around to the front like that move the fists round uh, like so like that that rattling as well I'm just sort of slightly knocking the glass display next to me and then the arms here they're actually on the slider here so they'll slide forward like that and slide forward like that I hadn't noticed it on the instructions and even on the packaging it shows it with it back but I'm sure it's supposed to be forward it's like that so you kind of got the kind of the top half a bit done so then these bits here kind of lift up and you see where they tab in here so you just want to lift them out here this bit lifts up as well and that just kind of loosely fits over there so you just kind of move them out of the way a little bit for now um, and then underneath these bits here untab and untab from the back there these leg pieces are going to come undone and there's quite a few places where they connect they connect in here in here and kind of to the, this bit here but they're all so you just pull these out like that and then that's a bit done and then you want to unpeg them from almost this crotch piece so as you pull it out you'll see they just unpeg from from there okay so like that uh, on the other side like that like so and then you're gonna fold this leg down like that fold this down like that like so um, and then yeah the waist then will swivel around swivel that waist around like that so this gold piece is facing forward but then um, you want to actually swivel these out like that I think that's right yeah so swivel that out back around underneath the feet here you see this bit here just wants to uh, yeah so I'm pegged up forward move these out so these little toes can come forward like that so you've got these little toes out like so and then on this back side here um, you want to flick this bit out here like that and like that and then these bits are supposed to lift up like that um, there's various places where you can put it um, on the instructions it shows to bring it forward like that and line these up like so so you just have to kind of wiggle them around a little bit so line them up like that you then bring these bits up like that and that's going to straighten up like so so I'll try that on the other side. So unpeg these from here, that from there. Bring this forward a little bit. Sort of do a bit of wiggling around. You can still do it um, with it as it is, as it was. Um, it just slightly affects the, the kind of look of the figure. Ah, oh, yeah, and these bits. I think they're supposed to come in yeah like that on the back of the figure there I mean you could actually swivel these around oh you can swivel them around either way I guess so it's up to you uh, these bits then 
I think it's supposed to just sit flat like that. You can pull them up to there if you wish to. Um, this bit here, um, I had it like that. So it tidies up fairly nicely on the back there, like that. And then while we're around the back of the figure, you wanna, I'll just move this around here. You just wanna unpeg these from here. So this kind of wheel bit here unpegs, and then you're gonna fold this down like that. I mean, you can, oh yeah, I'm not sure if you can pull the whole thing out. Let's just try and pull these down first. Then as you come around to the front, this bit will come down and peg into there. Just checking if that will then slot into the same bit or not. I guess what you can do then is move that up and then slot those into there and it just locks all of that into place there at the back there. So he's not quite straight and standing up yet. So you can get him in that position there. This one of these fell out, despite me saying how difficult they were to, for me to pull them out. Uh, these bits then go back and you can kind of move them around however you want to, like that. And you're nearly done. It's just time to get the head out. Um, these bits, as I mentioned, all rotate around. And, you know, look at that. Uh, you know, you can near enough sit a natural figure in there. That's just, you know, the actual size of him. Uh, and you can, as I said, even in this mode, because of the way the arms move, you can still kind of properly be kind of forcing it, a figure into there. So, you know, the arms can move and enable you to do that. Um, here, you want to pull this bit up here by these bits here. Um, this bit does open up like that. Um, so you, you do have these bits in here. So I've, I've not quite worked out what the purpose of having those in there is. Um, not seen that on the instructions, but he does have that. You can then fold the head out, move it forward, close that up, uh, and the head, he's got all these little eyes here. You can actually push them in. And this is where you can put in the head thing. They kind of want to pop out on mine. I've got mine the right way. Yeah, I have. Yeah, for some reason mine keep wanting to popping, pop out. So I'm not quite sure why that is. Right, so I've pushed them in. So they have stayed in, but they do have a tendency want to, to pop out um, on the springs there. But uh, that's just something to be aware of. Um, all the same paint detailing as I mentioned beforehand. Uh, nice silver in there. You've got the purple bits in there as well. Um, yeah, it just looks absolutely stunning. And to show you the size of him, you know, because I've had to zoom out, you don't might not get it. But here you are. There's Megatron alongside him. So that's a Voyager figure there. Um, this guy is really big. Um, and obviously his MicroMaster figure here down at the bottom here, just to give you an idea of it. So yeah, he's a, he's a huge figure. I'll bring in actually some of the MMC other figures here as well. So we've got Moors who is also an absolutely huge figure as well. So you've got him here. He's pretty big. Uh, and then you've got the smaller figures in the line, which I've got. 
So you've got um, this one down here, and then the wolf type dog here. You know, and I'm I'm going to really struggle to get these on display together. I think it's going to be a very tough job indeed. I did have a shelf picked out. But um, I didn't quite realise how big this guy was going to be. Um, you know, until you kind of get him in hand, you don't realise. Um, I'll go through some of the articulation and then maybe we'll zoom in and have a, a better look at the figure. So the head moves down. Um, it can go up uh, side to side. It can rotate all the way around. Oh! That was a quick save, and he knocked it with my arm there. Well, I did knock it with my arm, but I stopped it from falling over. Uh, this bit can move up and down, um, and like I said, you can kind of get it to come out further than that if you disconnect it from the backpack. And these arms literally can go any which way you want. So up to you, however you want them. If you want them out of the way, you could even fold them around the back. So if you don't like them, you've got that option as well. I do quite like them, so... Uh, well, I am a big fan of them, so I probably have them around here. And you could even maybe put in a blast effect in there if you wanted to. Uh, the arms um, oh, rotate around and you just punch something off there. Uh, I'm not sure what I've just punched off, but that rotates around all the way around there. Um, uh, comes out to here, oh, all the way out to there. Uh, you get rotation here, which goes all the way around, and the arm comes up to there, the fists rotate around, the fingers are all on, that's on a ball joint, and then these are on a single pin, and they, they've all got the same, those three have got the same, and then this one's got like a trigger finger that moves. Um, I see what I just knocked off. Ah, it's like a, um, piece of the figure. So I managed to knock this silver piece off by punching something. Not quite sure where that's actually come from. Um, ah, here you go. So that's just come off from the side of there. So that's just something to be aware of. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So yeah, that's the first. Um, in terms of paint, I mentioned it's pretty good. Um, uh, I have got a little bit of damage to the paint in around there, so to zoom in to uh, take a look, you can see that in there is a bit of stuff around there. Um, you can get the waist to rotate around. Um, yeah, it does go all the way around actually, if you want to. Um, is there? Yeah, even get an ab crunch. So, like that. So, you can get them running forward as they did show. Um, so, you know, you can get him in some pretty good poses. And he does hold the weight, you know, because he, well, like I mentioned, he's not, he's quite light. So, he's able to hold certain positions. So yeah, you've got the ab crunch and that goes a fair bit forward as you can see there. Uh, and that just goes back in there like that. The legs, um, got bits attached to them now. Um, so the legs go out like that on a ratchet. So all the way out. So it's a really good range. Back in, uh, you even got like a little bit on the almost tilt just on this bit here uh, then another soft ratchet up to there um, if you move these out of the way it kind of goes back to there it can go all the way back but it's just prohibited by these kind of um, pieces here you get rotation here you get a bend at the knee kind of there and there I guess you can you can kind of pull and rotate these out a little bit if you want and kind of straighten up the legs a little bit more 
and that kind of gives me even more height. Um, so you've got a decent range in the legs, uh, the feet, you get the toe back here, this one here, you get a decent toe tilt side to side. Um, you can move, take these bits out and get even more in the foot if you want to. As you can see, it can kind of come out here like that. Um, and this bit here is kind of almost like a knee pad over it. So that's as far as the knee kind of goes back. Yeah, so I think that is more than enough for a figure of this size. Um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of articulation. Um, in terms of a recommendation, yes, definitely. Um, especially if you're a fan of the DJD. I know a lot of people will be looking to grab hold of this figure to complete the set. And he's definitely a very imposing figure. Looks great on the shelf. Um, just even on his own, I'll be honest with you. Um, oh yeah, uh, let's show you some of the swapping out the accessories. So you swap out this headpiece here, like that. So you can just swap that out for the kind of purple version. Got it around the right way. Yeah, so this this purple one here. It's got a different um, thing to it, so I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to slot in. It doesn't show it fitting in in the same way. So I'm not actually sure sure how that fits in or where that's supposed to go. Uh, this one does fit in. And the, the alternate head, you see, is a little bit chunkier if you hold them side by side I'll just uh, zoom in a second uh, so zoom in like that just bring this up a second see this one's a much chunkier head it just fits on that ball joint here so if you want to you can just pop that off like that and get hold of the other head and see how much is needed to pop it back on oh. yeah it's a bit of a tighter fit trying to get that head back on or at least this one anyway I'll just perch it on there for the moment so you can kind of see what it looks like on I'm not sure which one I prefer I don't know if this, this is any easier to try and get back on Right, I think what I'll do is I'll just unfasten this and try and get the other head on so we can have a look at it. And uh, here we are, we've got him back to robot mode. This is with the alternate head in. Uh, I quite like it to be fair. Um, it is a little bit chunky, a bit more menacing. Um, I just unscrewed it a little bit at the back so it's a little bit loose. Pop it off and then to pop this one back on, you just unscrew it a little bit at the back just to give you that bit of wiggle room to get it on like that and then you can just pop that back on and then just tighten it up at the back here there we are so just tighten it up a bit more And then you can pop his thing back on. I'm not sure about the purple one where that um, kind of fits back in on, where that kind of fits in. So I'll have to see if you've got any information on that. But it certainly doesn't seem to fit on anywhere that I can work out. And uh, like I said, if you want to see him without that, you see his little googly eyes there. But uh, in my opinion, well worth getting hold of he's a little bit expensive he's a big old boy but if you can find the room to put him on display i definitely recommend him that is it for now guys thanks for watching sorry it's been a bit of a long video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time stay safe